So bringing you a pretty special one today. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. This square body just came in, so we're a little premature on getting this video, but we know it's going to be one that is not going to last. So I wanted to capture a good quick video of this thing. So we're coming back after a weekend of Barrett Jackson and everybody in the world is jumping on the bandwagon. That's the other reason. I didn't want to wait a week and post this and then get all the flack about, oh, this guy must have watched Barrett Jackson, blah, blah, blah. So I can tell you when we have a square body or a classic Ford or even a Ram International, whatever, I don't mind giving a very honest description. I have had probably not more than anybody in the world, but hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of classic pickup trucks and thousands upon thousands of trucks in general. So not like this is the first ball game. So what I can tell you about this truck is you will not find a more solid undercarriage. I mean, this is the truck that dreams are made of as far as the underside of a truck. Every single wrinkle that's supposed to be there is there. It is not coated with undercoating. The motor appears to be very fresh. Now, I did not get this from a end user, so I don't have as much history as I would love to have. But frame rails, undersides do not lie. You can see the condition of this truck. The bed's finished in really, really, really high sheen finished wood with the stainless trim. I mean, I would call that show quality. The fitment of the tailgate's nice. Dual exhaust, they did a great job on the exhaust. Very clean bends. This is a half ton truck. You can see it's got brand new brakes, brand new drums. The lift kit has proper replacement springs. They color match the shocks. But look at the undercarriage. They do not get nicer than this. I can tell you the stuff that just went through Barrett Jackson, it might have had an LS or it might have had this or that. It did not have an undercarriage like this. This is what makes this truck. I wouldn't care if it was doo doo brown on top with pink polka dots. You cannot recreate how solid this truck is. I mean, it's a half ton. It would be cool if it was a heavy duty truck. I will say it has Scottsdale 20 emblems. The VIN number will not tell you any differently, so we don't know. Maybe somebody out there has some kind of decoding they can do, but I would consider this a series 10 truck, not a 20. But the, I will tell you some step side trucks because they were lesser grade trucks and believe it or not, they were less expensive trucks when they were new were a little bit different but we are selling it as a half ton. It has half ton six lug axles. It is a four speed, couple gauges. It is a Cheyenne or Scottsdale or whatever the base model designation people like to say is, because it's got crank windows and it's got this single headlights easy enough to upgrade if you wanted to but look at the undercarriage of this truck and it paints really nice typical sticky hood from the factory of course these were all 305s they did not make a 350 until 1987 or back in the early years of course it's carbureted nice original looking small block that appears to be very fresh not even leaking yet so that's nice coated headers air condition compressor still intact power steering power brakes again you just can't fake the nook and cranny areas and again, this is not how all of our square bodies look. This is not how all our classics look. But we're not afraid to say, hey, somebody's undercoated or somebody's done this or hey, it's got some putty. Look at this truck. I mean, look down the sides. Look 
the fitment of everything. Just incredible. This truck's gonna be 35,000. What's it worth? Who knows? That's us making a couple bucks profit and we're letting it go. Could it be worth 40, 50, 60 grand? Could it bring 60 or 70 at auction? I mean, sure it could, especially if the right guy's looking for it. And I've seen a lot of postings over the last few days about what stuff brought and how much it cost to build and how much it was new. I can tell you all that's irrelevant, 100% irrelevant. If this truck was $8,000 new, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. What's a new Silverado now? Minimum 50 up to 100, depending on how it's optioned. So again, prices are irrelevant. Another thing that I just find really funny is a lot of the guys say, you know, build cost on such and such vehicle was only 200 grand, but it brought 300 or it brought 350 on the auction. What people don't realize is time is money. And if somebody wants something and they want it now, they have to pay for it. And if you're going to do a build, a quality build that has to go through a machine shop, such as a mechanical shop, then a restoration shop, then a body and paint shop, there's not very many people who do it all, then an interior shop, or say you have a restoration shop that subs all that out. When I mean, you're talking two, three, four years, if you want to be patient, excellent. If you want to buy something and own it and drive it tomorrow, that's a different story. So again, price is very irrelevant in a lot of cases. And I'm not picking at people. Everybody has their opinion. Everybody has their budget. Everybody has what they can spend on a vehicle. But, you know, a lot of the comments of people looking at Barrett Jackson and Meekum, which are outlandish, don't get me wrong. A lot of the prices are just out of this world. But there's a lot of them that are fair too. I saw a lot of stuff on there. If I could have been an online bidder, you can trust it would already be sitting here in my building because i got room for it and i'd love to have it but again also seeing is believing there's some stuff that went through that was really rough uh, it was actually two trucks there that we had seen in person that were available one brought crazy big money one brought just average money but i'd saw both trucks i can tell you they did not have an undercarriage like this one one brought six digits the other one did not the other one i probably would have bought it was a fair deal for a fair truck it uh, wasn't televised, but the one that was televised, it brought extremely ridiculous money for its condition. But again, it was a beautiful truck. And I'll never laugh at the buyer. I wish I was the seller, because that guy made a good chunk. But uh, one thing I do want to point out, this truck does have one little paint imperfection right here. A little chip and a little it's actually a crack, even though it looks like a scratch. If it is a scratch, it's really deep, but that's really the only imperfection in this truck. And it appears that that's not gonna buff out, but the rest of it is pretty spot on. One good looking square body, classic truck, Davis Auto Sales. If you're watching our YouTube, it's Davis Drives. We're going to try to get about four or five of these square bodies that we currently have and line them up to do a really nice edited video. But the points that I'm going to point out are exactly what I just showed you guys. If you're looking to buy a vehicle like this and you're going to pay premium money, don't worry about the top. Don't worry about the interior. Look underneath the truck. If you find a truck that looks like this, you have struck gold. I can tell you that right now. The chances of that are rare, but... If you find one this nice, you have found a extreme diamond in a rough. Everything else can be done. Body and paint can be done, interior can be done. Mechanical is super easy to do. Parts are available for everything, but you cannot redo the undercarriage of a truck ever. You can't fake it. If it's not right, it's not right. It is one thing that you just can't redo. So, find a nice one, start your project, or buy one already done. If this one doesn't suit you, check our website. It's not common for us to have this many, but we got a good selection right now. Davis4x4.com, davisautosales.com. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to keep seeing some cool trucks come along. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to comment. If you have any further questions, 
or if somebody out there is an expert on Chevys and GMCs more than I am of this era, and they can determine by the VIN number what this truck is, I'd love to know. But we're gonna sell it as a half ton, six lug, 10 bolt truck. Thanks for watching.